Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Finals of Blood Bowl 3. We've got uh, the Lizard Men here of Diom Lord. He's got 6 block players and uh, 12 players, two, only 2 rerolls and an apo. Up against Galentio is Manager 2 with the uh, Pro Elves. Let me put the uh, skill rings on here so you can see he's got 3 catchers there, wrestling 2 dodgers. And he's got the 2 blitzers, a dodger and a tackler. He's got a sneaky git to try and high roll and sure hands on his thrower. Um, yeah, look, fair play to Galentio getting qualified for this, but I think he's a, I think he's a big, big underdog. You know, in the tournament mostly because of the the race. I don't think Prowls are a good choice, but he, you know, he, he won he won all three of his games to get here. Um, and. It's it's interesting. I, yeah, I just think they're a I think they're a bad racial choice. <laughs> oh wow, he's got he's got greasy cleats minus move on that catcher, and then he does the classic dodge dodge after blitzing double ones it, and we're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> not even uh not even dwarves. Just just any. Any kind of bash team is already any kind of blood ball team. If a team plays blood ball, then pro elves are in trouble. Um, what they really need is to be dark elves, and even then, dark elves can get attritioned out pretty easily, right? With, with overtime, this pro elf team has twelve players and no apple. Um, dark elves, you know, dark elves go twelve players and no apple, or dark elves go. Uh, 11 players in an apple, so this team has the same numbers as a Dark Elf team, but a lot less protection, right? He's got a Blodger, and he's got two Dodgers, whereas a Dark Elf team has got like five or six Blodgers. It's like a, and loads of armor eight, so it's just so frail. Yeah, exactly. That's what Pro Elves have over Dark Elves, like catchers that are just fast, but can't stack enough skills to make up for it. Sidestep on the Blitzers. A thrower, like I just, I just, I honestly, I, I don't like them as a choice. Now, he did play Pro Elves in Era BB. I don't know how much he likes Pro Elves, you know, in other things. Like, you know, maybe he just likes them, and you know, like he's he's done well with them, right? He's he's got here, he's got here, which is better than forty other people did in the play-ins. Uh, Forty-two people uh, in the play-ins, right? So he's done. He's done better than 42 people to get here, and uh, so he's got a chance, you know, I could still still play in Blood Bowl, aren't you? We've gone for the classic base the ball with sidestep play, which is the go-to the go-to player of every pro elf coach ever. <laughs> and he just gets instantly knocked down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like not activating the crocs here. Uh, well, but now he can, right? Now he can activate the crocs. Actually, doesn't. I think he could have done. I think he could have activated there. I thought he was caging around it at first, but then realised it was further back. I think what we might see here is a blitz and then basing the ball carrier with a <laughs> with a blitzer. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Sidestep on the ball. <laughs> the problem with this is you're doing it on your offense <laughs> on turn three. So it's not over, but it's, you know, it's so bad already. Pretty terrifying. What he could have done here was, like, he, he blitzed from there and left that hole open. His player was here, wasn't it? Or here. He could have blitzed from the other way and left that hole open, and then he could have tried to 3D with the Crocs, and if it failed, he could have still hit him with the other one. Wouldn't have hated that. Just, you know, try and get greedy and get a mighty blow hit. But there was no need for that, but I wouldn't have hated it. Yeah, this, this Crocs is in a pretty prime spot, isn't he? So maybe, you know, he wanted to get the Mighty Blow. I mean, everybody should want to get a Mighty Glorious. Blow, right? 
No, I won't give in. Whoa. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Prime, but a day late. Glorious. Thank you very much, Andy Davos. Staying fantastic. Whoa. Glorious. Are you, are you free at the moment, Andy? Do you want to jump in to do the to do the cast? The problem is that it's uh, it's really fast on the replay. <laughs> it's really fast on the replay. I think that it's it's a lot easier solo. Really, got to do a lot of pausing uh, with a co-caster. But of course, you're welcome if you if you're able and want to. And is he basing the ball with a blood stepper? I think he is. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this must just be what Galentio likes to do, right? And that's why he's picked pro -Ls. It, It's how I've seen pretty much every pro elf coach play is is based the ball with, with sidestep, so that's it. It is what it is. We, we've discovered why he's playing pro elves. Oh my god. Massacring. Not really massacring them, right? He's just stunning them, but still. Oh, and he finally activates. Finally activates the crocs and it goes stupid. Absolute classic. Yeah, he can. Not cover this, right? Um, oh, yeah, no, because he's screening out the front. He's screening out the front with this guy. So this being stupid doesn't matter. And then he's got that. But it's it's still on, isn't it? It's still on. The, uh, the hit on the ball is on this turn. Finally, the sidestep works. He's got a 1D. Fill this in. 1D chain him out to there and then hit him. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no, Galentio. You put one of your players in here. And then he does the 1D and chains him to there. And then you put this guy in here. And you blitz him with block tackle. Like, that's definite, isn't it? That's 100% the play. There's no way that's not the play. And then you've got your two... Maybe, maybe you, maybe you uh, fill the square with a wrestler, and then you've got the uh, the two dodge guys to you know maybe make some players to pick it up, go through, hand off, whatever. I had to chain him back and, and make the hit on the ball there. Wait, okay, disregard. I'm an idiot. It was just open that way. <laughs> Well, so technically, technically, my way was better in that I've got block and tackle, and he only had like wrestle, right? So I, mine was a seventy-five percent knockdown instead of a fifty-five. So my way was better in my defence, but um, you can argue his way was better. But uh, but my way was more likely to knock knock the ball loose. Yeah, errata, errata. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is where he gets he gets that though. Oh, whoop, changed his mind. It goes so fast. It goes so fast. It goes so fast, man. It's literally just having to uh <laughs> Right, sorry one sec. Whew. It goes so fast. As long as he's basing the ball, he's basing the ball with the side stepper. It's all right. Okay. Uh... Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm just eating. I'm not just surprised. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Every time you talk to me, I'm like, what am I doing? Eating. 
Yeah, that does seem that does seem to be the play. <laughs> Can you shoot a play, guys? It's it's eating more. Yeah, so these goals really fast. These go really really fast. So uh, I'll try and pause at the start of every turn. Maybe that's an idea. Try and pause at the start of each turn. But it's fu it's funny, you know, like the that I was saying about the. Uh, on the official cast yesterday, I was saying about how like people get tunnel vision and stuff, and that's like a, a problem everybody gets. And then I just totally visioned into doing that chain to hit with a tackler, and then oh, actually they could just instantly hit with a wrestle without doing the chain. So interesting. Yeah, I, I was I was giggling slightly while I was eating. I was like, this is making it slower. Stop it. <laughs> See the bloody chain. See the ch hey, Stop with the chain. You can do it another way. It's fine. Um, and you were right, right? The, the tackle uh, block is better, clearly. Um, but there was another way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it, it was more like it was it was more likely to pop it loose. Um, but yeah, he, he, the other way could have been better, right? Technically, like ultimately, we don't have Blood Bowl Stockfish to know that the 55% knockdown, you know, leads to a better potential ball state than the 75% with the other things. So, like, it's, you know, we're never, we're never ever going to get to that stage, are we, probably? Unless, like, maybe computers will get loads better and uh, and then, like, you know, Elliot can just whip it up in five minutes. He'll just make the perfect Blood Bowl, blood bowl AI. And, and then we yeah. will know. But uh, until we get to that level... <laughs> we don't have Blood Bowl Stockfish is my I've said it for a while honestly Baron Bucky I've said it for a while because you know we, we we can just never say for sure what things are not even for sure not even like with any reasonable degree of certainty whatsoever right at the end of the day we're all just people who play Blood Bowl none of us fucking know anything do you know what I mean it's not like it's not like chess where there's 1500 years of people dedicating their lives to it and then writing books about it and then other people reading those books of people who've dedicated their lives to it and then writing more books and then them dedicating their lives to it and you know and just, there's nothing like that is there it's it's 30 years of people playing a little kid's game and not really even trying to get better at it <laughs> the chess book i wrote i swear it was like written by a five-year-old it was terrible um <laughs> <laughs> oh well, oh well, never mind. I clearly I read the wrong book. Um, never mind. Right, so um. <laughs> yeah, this looks uh, time to write a book. No, it's not. It's not because none of us are qualified to write a book. Yeah. I would say. I was thinking about this as well. Funny that you're on here, Andy. You know, you know when we had the the Adam Savage Blood Bowl, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Uber yeah. Bowl of like people actually practicing it. The thing is, nobody. Nobody can do that really, right? Do you know what I mean? If, if, let's say we thought, oh, that's a good idea. So let's say we wanted to practice like dackering and dacker defense. And then, you know, if we were, if it was an esports, then what would happen would be Andy and I would sit down and practice for like six hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, dackering and dacker defending. And then like, you know, actually know how to do it. But yeah. no and one's going to do solving it. Yeah. No, and and every like you get to turn two and it's like Jim, this looks different than every other game we've played, and this is game seventy three. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, so it's ne it's never going to get to that stage. But uh, what I'm going to do on ladder is my my orcs. I'm going to purposely play down players every single game to uh, to practice playing down players. Now the problem with that is I'll take more attrition, won't I? Because the the attrition snowball. So maybe I won't do it for very long. <laughs> but I quite like the idea of just you know starting with less players to practice playing with less players. Jeez, he, he's killed a saurus as well, hasn't he? I, I'm sure I saw a a, a ruined saurus. He, he appoed it, I think. Oh, he appoed. Right, yeah, he's right. got an apple, so. I completely missed it. It goes so fast that it's just so easy to miss, like, Saurus dying. I don't know, yeah, it was like the first blitz that he did, wasn't it? Or something, or the second blitz. Yeah, I remember it happening. I remember it happening. Where are the two blitzes? I find Pro is really difficult to tell apart. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do it again for you. I've, I've flashed up the, uh... I've flashed up the things at the start, you know, the, uh... Oh, the skill, skill rings. rings. So, yeah, the, the blitzes are the, the more crouchy ones. Uh, the tackle guy and the dodge guy, and then the uh... oh, they've also they've got blonde, they've got short blonde hair, haven't they? Or ponytails, and then the white uh, hair guys are the catchers. Um, that he has two dodge ones and a wrestle one. 
Right, right. Okay, so two dodge, one wrestle. Yep. There's no stacking in this, so that tackle blitz has not got dodge, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no stacking. So, no, he's. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't pick them. This <laughs> is the problem. Like, this is the problem with Proils. I just think it's not. They just don't get enough, do they? They, they just don't no. get enough. No, they don't. It goes back on uh, on turn six. six yeah. This is Galentio's drive, though. <laughs> Oh, and, oh dear. Yeah, on turn one, he did a blitz, rolled a one in nine, so then dodged with like with dodge. Is is blodge blitz a blitz? Failed failed the uh, dodge out afterwards, you know, and then the ball wasn't safe at all. He hadn't made no safe moves first, and so the ball was picked up and caged <laughs> on <laughs> deep in his half on his own first turn by the lizards, and then the lizards have more or less kept hold of it since. And he's so, not yeah. put a scoring threat in, so this is either one one, uh, one nil or uh, nil nil. Yeah. So yeah, again, <laughs> every single turn, blood stepper on the ball. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Absolute classic. Oh, he's blitzing, blitzing, hoping for the no. Oh, that was the blitz. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. So he can't. He, he's got to have to hand it off, but everyone's tagged. Can he can he get here? Yeah, he can. He can get to this king, can't he? I'll have to do it next thing. Oh no! Right, no, you're right. Yeah, I thought if he comes through there and just go for the four plus handoff, he's got to re-roll for it, hasn't he? And then dodge off. Because this seems like it's gonna end poorly versus two re-rolls. He's gonna two deem, isn't he, and get the ball back. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess this way you you he's dodge. Make an eye cage, isn't he? Yeah, eye cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So dodging a GFI from this one. Oh no, this guy's here. Dodge from him. Dodge from him. Eye cage, and then he can only uphill you. Yep. As long as he makes the threes. Oh, does it that way so he gets to? Yeah, okay. That's pretty good actually, isn't it? I was I was going sideways, but going up means that you get that guy off as well. First things first. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's not the side stuff. No. He's got the wrestler, hasn't he? So he can he can go for it with the wrestler here. Wait. He could have gone with the wrestler, couldn't he? One, two, so. three, four, five, six, so seven, quick. eight, three, five. Yeah, you've got to. You've got to uphill it with the wrestler. Oh he's moved seven! He's moved seven because of the greased cleats. Well, but the I, other option is, is to try and just tackle it, yeah, blitz one of the skinks off, and then just stack loads of stuff around it. But you're you're inviting chain pushes, so I'm super careful of this, yeah. this strat. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, just knock down the skink, and then if you double tag the saurus, if you can't break the tag, he's a five plus to score. Whereas you could you could uphill wrestle him, and he could just. You know, Skink could catch the ball, couldn't he? I guess. But then, and you, you, you've actually got a success state if you if you wrestle the ball, haven't you? Because then this guy's right here, and you could uh, you could snaffle it away. Yeah, so double double tag the Saurus, so now that's <laughs> hard. Then then he then he thought that that chain. So he, he <laughs> he's done that a couple of times, Glenn. You know, look, at least he saw that he did it wrong, right? Like both times, he, he tagged somebody and then dodged away to to tag somewhere else or some someone else. So he obviously saw some something with him standing there. I guess blitzing that way, but he's he's got others around here, hasn't he? So this is not easy at all um, to do. Do you, and you if you blitz oh, this guy, you can sidestep there. What what about um, if the Crocs clears south? Uh, you can get rid of the guy marking the skink and then you could blitz the dodge and then you just hand it to the skink that's now freed because you've blitzed one and you've blocked the other and then it's a three plus hand off and three plus cat, uh, dodge to score. Yeah. I think, I think that's what I'd be looking at. The, the specifics are a bit tricksy on a replay but that, that's where I'm going. <laughs> oh, he can, he's going to chain this to get the crocs in. 
Interesting. Okay. So the Crocs makes that hit. And then the Skink, north of the Crocs, takes the other hit. It's the power. See so, yep. There you go, that's the, that's the handoff. It's, it's same idea. Possibly a little bit more. Is it more complicated? Probably not. No. I, I guess maybe there was a chance of not having to rely on the Crocs doing it his way. Like, you know, with the first block that he made, like maybe if that had been a power, he could have, he could have chain, changed his mind into something different. Because you you don't want to make the blocks with the Crocs, do you? Like, that was the problem with that plan, was blocking with the Crocs. So I guess if you if you try to avoid hitting with the Crocs, that's got to be better. Um, so he doesn't score, but he gets the, he gets the ball now, and it's nil-nil. Still got a full team. Um, I guess at this point, the Omlord would have rather had the third reroll than the uh, Chameleon Skink, but here we have a very nice anti blitz setup. I was just about to say, as we get the blitz, <laughs> very nice anti blitz, right? He's got, he's got a. It's it, this guy could have been one further forward. I don't know why he wasn't one further forward, but very good anti blitz. We've got the columns, uh, not columns, chevrons here, and chevrons there, so. I don't know why he's got the skink in front. Oh, so because you can't break through if you blitz the skink, right? If you blitz the skink there, you can't break through still. Whereas if you've got the skink on the outside, you could potentially blitz around the outside. So, yep, even there, the the uh, the Soros holding the flanks is good. But, yeah, I think this guy, one forward, is better. But, yeah, yeah, I think so. But very good, very good blitz defense. Love to see it. Yeah, the, yeah, Jilly. I'm sure it'd be something like that. I'm sure he'd have done that complicated way to try and save the Crocs. It, it's the only thing that makes sense, right, to try and save the Crocs hit because that, that's the that's the big problem with the uh, with the with the whole situation is having to make the Crocs hit and fails the dodge. Scatter goes away from the Blitzer, but he got a KO'd Saurus. You, you'd be pleased with that as a, as a start. It's a pretty great start, yeah. KOing the Saurus, yeah. I just missed that, by the way. Like it's it's crazy how <laughs> how fast everything is on these replays. It's like things are happening, and then it's it's happened and it's gone. I wonder if you should have re geified in there to like fill in that spot. Yeah, I, yeah, it's weird. You almost just just can't take that hit. I don't think unless you can. Oh yeah, he's just not making the hit. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna not hit, make the hit. Just He's going to pick up with a skin that's north, diagonally north of the guy that blitzed. Yeah. Yeah, because this guy's making it strong that side. And that guy's making it strong that side. And this guy... So, I think he's put this skink the wrong side, right? Because yeah, so. it's harder to move this saurus than it is to move this skink. Oh, no, but he can't put it that side because then he would chain it out completely. So, um... Yeah. Has he got, I don't know if he's got enough free players. Oh yeah, I mean you you would you would do it. You would go in there. Have you have you got a plan? Yeah, I was just well. All right, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I'm, uh, it's so quick, it's difficult to to do them. But um, where he just moved that player that's tagged the Saurus in the bottom right of our picture, if you could fill in the square in front of the skink and the square in front of the Saurus, you make a box. And if yes. you could blitz into that box, you could then try and bounce. Yeah, you've got to fill some more squares in. But you can then bounce the sidestepper um, into the ball. It is a sidestepper? The, it the, is, yeah. The guy tuned yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at that as a construct. I, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know if you've got enough free players. I, I, I think you probably haven't. But Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the big problem with the plan, isn't it? The, the four guys off there. But yeah, and plus it would be like an uphill, right? Like he's got three players that he can put in to fill, the, yeah. to fill those squares. So he could put in these three guys. But, and then that would that would scoot him to here, but then he'd have to he'd also have like these two assists to deal with as well, it's, wouldn't he? Yeah, it's not gonna you, No, it's not gonna work, is it? No, you'd have to <laughs> Nice idea, but no. <laughs> it was it was a nice idea, yeah. You, so you could have uphilled with wrestle. Well it, and then yeah, get if, the push. if you had oodles of spare players, when you bounce, that skink goes into where the, the dodge blitzer is, and then the tackle blitzer punches the dodge blitzer, who sidesteps again, and then you do get the 2D on the ball. But I haven't got enough free players, so <laughs> Woulda, shoulda, coulda. No, no, yeah, that's that is. But it was a nice little idea, nice little spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But do you know, do you know what I think he will do? Uh, <laughs> put Slide a sidestepper on the ball. On the ball. <laughs> oh, it kills him! Good God! Uh, that's no sidestepper on the ball. Diced. It's dead. Diced. He didn't get to do his favourite thing in the world. <laughs> I'm surprised he almost hasn't taken the, the, the sneaky git there and just fouled that Saurus and said, I've got a sneaky git, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Because he gets the KOs back. So if the, so if the Lizard's scoring three or four turns, he gets them back. Whereas yeah. that could potentially kill a Saurus. Huge. Yeah, and he's, he's got to feel a bit desperate now. Like, if he doesn't feel desperate, he should do. Yeah. So... Yeah, no, I, Because the worst thing that can happen here is the lizard scoring eight. So you almost want, you either want to force it or turn them over. And I don't know how you turn them over particularly. So thus you're into forcing them. Yeah. Um, so he gets the, he doesn't get the chain. <laughs> Wait, what? Was that a blitz? He could have just put this guy here, couldn't he? And then chained him to there and had two dice on the ball. Is this yeah. another one where I'm not seeing it? <laughs> no, no, you are right. That, that was just two on the ball. Oh. Oh, it'd be one. Yeah, no, it'd be two on the ball because you can't. You've got one left yeah. for cancelling the crocs. Yeah. yeah. Who likes two on the ball anyway? So last year. Oof. Oof. It's not what I would have done, but who can see if it's good or bad? <laughs> the classic rebel casting there. Another Kaz King. If you can, if you can stop this uh, touchdown, a dead one and a Kazd one, and a KO'd Saurus. Uh, this is a he's and now. So now he throws in the sneaky get foul. Double three's no problem. j -Lev, I think one of the things about taking the ball off the Lizards, though, is although you might not have any recovery, you're forcing three plus rolls and stuff. Like, there's an element of knocking out re-rolls out of your opponent's team, potentially. Yeah, I could, I could understand. So, like, if, if he was 1-0 up here, if he, if he was 1-0 up, then I could see, you know, just staying in front, staying in front and not going for the ball there. But I think because because he's, he's it's nil-nil and... There's a there feels a certain amount of, ne of inevitability this score, but then a bit less, right? With the, with the Kaz skinks, I w I would be I would be going for the for the ball sack. But yeah, there, there's an argument to be made for just you know <laughs> keeping it safe. Um, find the two days on the ball. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Too fast. Yep, I'm sure I'm sure there was a game two dice on the ball there with chains. I think there's always going to be like in this kind of situation, right? The 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 lizards are packed so close together, and there's the odd side stepper around, so. Yeah, surely there's gonna, be. and like you know, if if Galentio was really good, then I guess he'd be putting the sidesteppers in places, you know, on purpose, thinking next turn when he does yeah. this, this, and this, my guy will be left here so I can chain him in. But I don't think anybody playing Blood Bowl is that good. <laughs> I think people just mash things in, don't they, and then go. Hopefully, I'll get a chance next turn. <laughs> yeah, cross fingers. Poggers, hello, Trent. Oh, 3D just gets the push. He puts, he fills in that square, but if he gets the no, push no. here again, he does. It goes back there. So he's danced me. around the entire ball. <laughs> and he gets in again. He's gone, no. He's, he's going to have two dice on the ball. Glorious. Oh no, the skink hits him and clears him. <gasps> Amazing. But there's a chain. Yes. Like, and there's a really, really obvious chain. Yes. Surely. Surely there is a chain. <laughs> uh, he doesn't need to chain anyway, does he? You can just oh. hit. Oh yeah, you could just, yeah, you could just hit. You just yeah. hit. Yeah, you just hit and then you get block tackle. <laughs> Tunnel vision. Yeah. Well, after all that, <laughs> the blood, the the, the sidesteppers have been hit about twelve times. 
<laughs> and then, and then uh, they finally get his moment. 75% with a reroll and fails both of them. That's unbelievable, isn't it? That's super high. The double 75. Yeah. It's, about, it's about 93, I think, with, with a reroll. It, it's, more, it's more than 9 in 10. Yeah. Yeah, that is a tragedy. Another, another pro elf gone. Elven Union, sorry, not pro elves. There's another one gone. <laughs> wow. It's almost over now, isn't it? Almost, but not over. Yeah. Don't say it's over. Well, hang on a second. Well, the, the wrestle one's a catcher, isn't it? Yes. It's back up to movement eight now. <laughs> and he's standing. But he's got two Ds on the ball. Yeah, two, just, three a, plus. just the three plus, yeah. Can't, uh, can't chain the crocs anyway. Yeah, it's fine. You bring everyone back first, be, be sort of a bit safe, and then you just go for this. Gets the pow! Four. Not sure about the follow there. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, because it, it was only eight, wasn't it? So he could have just geified, but then, like, just randomly catching it would be incredible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Another removal. Another one. <laughs> oh dear. Stunned. Flip me, he's getting destroyed. 3D on this guy. The Bludge Blitzer is next to the sneaky oh. git, right? Um, yes. So he doesn't 3D him, he just, he just fully cages him. And then that way he keeps the screen against the Bludge Stepper. So I quite like that, actually. That was... Like, yeah. I think a lot of people would have three-diced this guy, right? Because he's, he's tackling stuff. But then I guess he could have gone to a bad sidestep square. Um, and But, yeah, not only was he, like, more chances of... Well, there's was less chance of knocking this guy over, wasn't he? But um, he keeps the screen to st to keep this guy out. So that was a pretty pretty nice little uh, thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pros are out of re-rolls now, aren't they? They've... The... Lizards are out of rerolls. The pros have got two. Oh, you got two left. Blimey. Mm. This is now all of a sudden. Even though the pros have got no players left on the pitch, hardly. If they can, if they can stop this and get to overtime, they could become favourites, couldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they just need to stop the score now. Yeah. Wow, pretty pretty crazy game. Okay, so there's now one. That's one. And he gets the uh, wrestle catcher back next turn as well. Yeah. A chameleon skink has to has to has to block him, right? Has to block him because oh he's gonna he's gonna cover the back. That's oh okay no. But don't you just block him? Because then you get to hit him with block. No, he doesn't. He just dodges through, picks it up, fails the dodge out. Wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So this is the last turn of Galentio's defence. Not how that skink. Hard to see anything. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go from this view to see it to see anything. <laughs> That's it. That's his defence. Um, I wonder if Don't he could bobble that ball. No. Yeah. He's he just got pushed. So he's definitely he's definitely going to go. Down his knees. South, yeah, south. Yeah. Just take the hits. Take the hits because you ain't scoring. I think is the <laughs> is a bit of the bit of the play. Crocs hit, yeah. Love the crocs hit. No re rolls. Maximize your chances. You pretty much got to try and knock him down. No. 
It's over. So if, if he'd powered there and then he could have blitzed and then he could have picked it up and scored, couldn't he? He still can, it's just a 4 plus pickup now. Dead. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. There's the tackler dealt with. Gets the pickup. Wait. No. Oh, because he's moved Why 7. You... Wait, that can't be right. Three, four, oh, wow. five, six, seven. GFA. It was right because his movement yeah. seven. He couldn't reach. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Go, go back slightly. Because could he have gone? Could he have gone in and out the square that he? Could Could you have gone up one just back where you were lying down? No. One, two, it's three, it's four. just literally not possible. Four, five, yeah, six, seven. One. GFA, GFA. It's just not in range. <laughs> oh wow. That's so funny, isn't it? Rubbish little chameleon skinks. I love every time. Every time a chameleon skink fails because he's slow, it just makes me so happy inside. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, he could have just gone with the other skink. But more dodges, though, right? But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. That's a lot more dodges, though. One, two... Three, four. Wait, no, that that. Yeah, no, that's right. Four. You couldn't do it. I don't know. Oh, let, let's have a look. <laughs> so, yeah, no, these are his own players. So it would be two dodges, three dodges instead of one, two, three. Yeah. Or no, one, two. So it'd be one more dodge. That's way better, isn't it? It's way better with the other skink because it's a four plus handoff. And with no reroll, so it's way better adding the adding the dodges and the GFI. So yeah, big brain Elliot sees the play, guys. Yep. Yeah, the other skink. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if he didn't realise until he picked up that he was out of range because, like, I just thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh yeah, hand off in the end zone. Two two three. Is that better than a four? Probably not, right, without a reroll. Four's probably better without a reroll. Oh yeah, yeah, he had to make a handoff action, so he had to have realized. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six KOs, and they're all ones and twos. <laughs> He's got, he's got three players, hasn't he? He's got, he's got, he's got three oh players. Oh my word. <laughs> it's what he'll just dack it. I mean, wh why not two turn here? <laughs> wow. Is is it over, Elliot? Is it over? He's, he, he's got, he got a stiletto on. <laughs> That's going to save it for him. <laughs> He's got the stiletto. Oh dear. I think the only thing you can do here is go and slam it forwards. And hug it. Yeah, I think not Daka. Just, just you know, you're not going to win this. So just, just like, and he's gone quite close, right? So, um, probably put like three guys all. Ah, uh, the problem is, so it's two one side, one the other. And then hope that you can go down like, well, you just you force yourself to go down that side. One guy runs back and picks it up, and then you have two players down the field, and then uh, one of them passes it to the other one. Oh, you've got catchers. So actually, your blitzer goes back because he's he's PA three plus, and these guys have got nerves of steel, right? So you, so you run back, pick it up with a blitzer, send your two catchers down. One gets blitzed. One's still standing. Lob it to him, hope for the best. Mm. You're not holding this off. The, the, all that's going to happen here is they're going to sack you. Yeah, yeah. There's, You've got such a small chance of this working. Like, there's obviously some chance, right? But it's so... It's got to be worse. Whereas if you if you randomly two-turn, that then you get you can get some KOs back maybe, and then you can, you know, maybe, maybe do it against me, which was like, you know, score quickly and then hold out. For the overtime, uh, like for the toss, so that, that that was the strategy he had to 
you had to use, I think. But, uh, I mean, obviously ridiculously hard with three players anyway. Still at all the crocs. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, put right. I had the same. Uh, when I played somebody, and, and they only had three players left, and they got quick snap, and just had to wait for their time bank to run out. <laughs> I enjoyed that massively. He's not lost yet, but the other thing is, this dinosaurs don't have a reroll. So there's there is always a little bit of, but they don't have the reroll. Yeah. Has he got it on a blodger? Or is that oh, a catcher, isn't it? It's no, a it's, yeah, catcher. Instantly, instantly hit on three dice. Three dice, yeah. yeah. That takes it to a 70% knockdown. Yep. See <laughs> dice on the ball. Good spot, daily. <laughs> He's going to have to explain that to you. Oh, skink, skink catches it. And well, don't say it's over, but he can stab it. <laughs> Jump stab. <laughs> no. Diced. That's not terrible, right? Because actually, gets the score, he gets the KOs back. Yeah. He just has to score back now. That's actually fine. Yeah. And what? One KO wakes up. Uh, three. <laughs> but still only six players total <laughs> but yeah now maybe you can bang it in for the 1-1 one -one. yeah this isn't bad at all actually maybe that was good actually because yeah actually thinking about it actually oh maybe this is better I guess no because the problem is of course there was a good chance of him just stalling out till, uh, till turn 8 disregard errata errata <laughs> it was not a good idea <laughs> No, the, the two turn was that was was had to be correct, I think. Did you get a touchback? I just randomly caught it. Surely if you'd touch back you would give it to the uh, to a bludger, right? This is pretty decent, isn't it? Oh my god, there's an art sweeper. Oh, what's that doing there? I missed that. <laughs> he did because it was because it was KO'd and he came back. <laughs> oh my that's amazing! <laughs> it's actually amazing. He's got he's got dice on the ball out of nowhere. <laughs> it is in range! I d I don't think he's seen it because he's gone with the skinks. <laughs> I guess the skinks didn't have to GFI, he had a GFI. I don't think he's seen it. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's actually... No, because if he noticed it, he would have at least moved it in front right before he did the blitz. That's actually amazing. <laughs> Last reroll gone. Oh. Fails the dodge. Because it was because of the tail as well, it was a two. Has he seen the uh, Saurus yet? Don't foul them, they won't foul you. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Man, I love someone's used the Art Sweeper. The funny thing is, I've noticed it like, you know, a few times in my games, I've been like. I've like nearly missed it, so hey, so it's inevitable that people will miss it, but uh, I'm sure I will one day. But it's pretty funny. It's one of those odd ones where it, it's it's why did they why did they code it such that? Like <laughs> if you want to do something like that, put them at the very front so you can't miss them. Yeah, it's just. Oh, he's made the pickup! Oh, my. He didn't have much movement left. <laughs> I don't know how he got there, but he didn't have a lot of movement left. Or you'd have, you'd have fucked off, wouldn't he? 
<laughs> Question is, if you move the player after noticing it, I'll leave it out of shame. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Art nearly didn't move one of his players out of shame in the in the uh, in the game versus Andy. He <laughs> seemed like he was his last player to move, and he just had to stand it up. And I thought, is he just going to not stand it up out of shame? <laughs> but in the end, he did stand it up. <laughs> oh dear! Hello, Ordant. Oh, there we go. Gets the power. Gets the scatter catch. Extra no. That's a shame. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> skull or skull. <laughs> I, do you know what? I actually quite like it when I uphill and roll double skulls because I'm like, well, it doesn't even matter, does it? Because I'd have been screwed even if I, even if I got two dice on it. Saurus do have pants, yeah. I mean, they don't want people to see their cloaca, do they? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to have pants. Um, just because you know, people. Some people like to, don't they? You know, like it's it's a big event, isn't it? The you know the the season two finals, and they want to. Uh, they just want to play the game out, I guess. But uh, I'm I'm one of those people who just you know ends the turn at the end of NAF. Well, you know, like NAF style games and stuff. Like this kind of res. There's no there's no star player points or anything. So just. Just end the turn and uh, and end the match. But you know, some people just like like playing out because they're there. I guess it's only like another it's only another minute or so, isn't it? So they just think they'll do it. So there you go, Diom Lord gets the win, advances to winners bracket round two. Galentio will get another chance in the losers bracket. Thank you for joining me, Andy Davo. Thank you very much indeed. Glorious. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.